All right, greetings, Kiss Nation. And this is going to be a Kiss topic, and this Kiss topic is going to be uh, around uh, Ace for Fraley and his decision to apparently ditch recording a live album and instead doing another installment in his Origins series. Now, uh, there was talk, I knew there was talk that Ace was going to be doing a live album, but um, apparently that got shot down and Ace wants to do Volume 3 of Origins, which, okay, that's fine, but uh, I would have preferred if Ace would have done a live album, because Ace doesn't do much in live albums in his solo career. Um, I think the last live album he did was, you know, it's like with with his first solo band, like with Fraley's comments, and that was like that was like a long time ago, and that was that was a good live album. So I would have loved it if Ace did another live album with his current solo band, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what his reasonings are for ditching it and going for another, basically another studio album. So let's get into this article. Ace Frehley has revealed that he shot down the idea of doing a live album instead of a third installment of his Origins cover album series. The former Kiss guitarist labeled had pitched the idea of him to him as a follow-up to his recent album 10,000 Volts. However, he rejected it on the basis that live albums are less relevant when anyone attending a show can capture it themselves with their phone and footage usually circulates around the internet in the days after. Well, yeah, that's true. But when... I'll use KISS as an example, because KISS was the last band to make a live album back in 2016, KISS Rocks Vegas. Um, when KISS had their Vegas residency back in, what, 2014, I, I'll bet you the footage of that circulated... And and that prop that didn't stop them from you know releasing the live album. Although it took them a long time to get that released, apparently. And I had no clue that Kiss was in in the works of making a, a live album. That just that one snuck up on me because I I had no idea that they were in the works of making a live album or. A DVD. I knew they had a Vegas a Vegas residency, but I had no clue what that was gonna lead into. But yeah, like I saw clips of their Vegas residency back in 2014 when it happened. But you know, it's just stuff like that happens, and it obviously didn't affect the release of Kiss Rocks Vegas. I mean, and that's like a, that's a good live album, slash, slash DVD. So, I don't understand why that has an effect on Ace. But, you know. I just got off the phone with my record company a few hours ago, and they wanted me to do a live album instead of Origins Volume 3, but I talked them out of it. Fraley tells Goldmine, I said to them, listen, when Kiss did Alive and Alive 2, we didn't allow recordings of shows. Well, I hate to break the news to you, Ace, but you may not have allowed the recordings to happen, but around that time period of like 75, 76, 77, 78, recordings of the Alive and Alive 2 era did happen, and... <laughs> Again, like, I think the only difference between the recordings in the 70s and the recordings now, there was no, there was no YouTube, there was no internet. So it's like, uh, of course, hearing the, hearing the raw Kiss recordings of the 70s back then, yeah, that was cool. But when Kiss did Alive and Alive 2, that was also cool because you were hearing Kiss give you the constant experience but you know 
for for a live album. Now, of course, bootlegs give you that that same feeling, too, just the unofficial way. And that's kind of why I like Kiss bootlegs because it gives you about a live and a live two experience just in, just in a different way. And it's like. And obviously, you know, these 70s recordings did not impact the live and alive too, because literally there's recordings taking place when alive and alive two are being recorded. So you know, that didn't really impact Kiss whatsoever. But every time I do a concert now, everybody's recording the show with their iPhone. So even if I make some mistakes or sing flat or here or there live, I can doctor it up in the studio and do overdubs and so forth. But all the kids are going to have the original concert and we're going to, we're going to A, B it and say, this isn't live. I mean, excuse me. I mean, that's kind of what a live album is. I mean, you kind of take the the raw material and dub it up in the studio, and it's it's live. It, but it's also like you, you you do some studio tricks to make it sound more crisp and cleaner. It's pleasant to the ears that way. For like a for a studio for like a live album sense. But if you want to have it raw, like a soundboard release, like what well, like what Kiss is doing, for or, or did for the alpha soundboards, then then you just kind of keep it, you know, as is. I mean, so yeah, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of how, how how it goes. He continues. So yeah, I talked them out of the idea, and today we decided to definitely go through with Origins of Volume 3. I can't tell you just yet, but I'm going to have some very special guest stars. The previous installments of Origins were released in 2016 and 2020, respectively, and saw fairly collaborate with a host of special guests, including Slash, Lita Ford, and ex bandmate Paul Stanley. Alright, so, uh... What are my thoughts? Well... I think it sucks that uh, Ace wants to dip out of the idea of doing a live album. And if I'm being totally honest, his reasons for why he wants to dip out of doing a live album are not very good. Because, you know, like I said, like when Kiss filmed and was in the process of doing Kiss Rocks Vegas... Back in 2014, because I guess where the biggest residency happened in 2014, uh, the clips circulated for the, on YouTube, and I had, like I said, I, I had no clue what was going to come out of that. So when I saw it, you know, Kiss Rocks Vegas come out in 2016, I was like, "Cool." I mean, that's really cool. And like I said, when I saw the clips circulate on YouTube. Like, Kiss doesn't let, you know, circulated video clips um, really affect them. So I don't quite get why Ace would let circulated video clips uh, affect, you know, if he makes a live album. And if he does, you know, overdubs for his voice, because Ace um, has been singing flat a few times. And, you know, if he wants to, you know take it into the studio and, and, you know, make it sound better, because that's what, you know, that's what Eddie Kramer did for Kiss Alive, and for Alive 2, probably. So I, I don't know why he wouldn't want to do that. I mean, so, you know, I... I don't know. But he's going with Origins Volume 3 instead of a live album, which... It's a bit of a bummer, but, you know, hey, you know. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I would I would have loved it 
if Ace's current band did a live album, but I guess Ace doesn't want to doesn't want to do it that way. So you know, that's uh, it sucks, but it, it is what it is. Um. So yeah, what do you guys think about about this? Uh, would you rather have Ace made a live album, or or are you happy that he's doing Origins Volume for, for free? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this topic. Until next time, I'll see you around. See ya.